lift up our voices to give God all the praise and all the glory and adoration for our families this far our nuclear families extended families we lift up our voices for the Lord answering our prayer for our families in the name of Jesus we need to give him all the praise we see the hand of God at work in our families in the mighty name of Jesus in every area of our life we give you the praise we acknowledge you Lord you have done all things well thank you for your goodness thank you for your great plan the plans you have for us and for our families is always for good to give us the future and the expected end we give you the praise we give you the glory we give you adoration thank you Lord for our immediate families extended families the husbands, the, we, the wives, the children, the fathers, the uncles, the brothers, the sisters. Father, we give you the praise. We see your mighty head at work in our lives, in our families. 2021, in the name of Jesus, we give you the praise. One more time, lift up your voice. You can see the hand of God upon your family. God is at work, working a great work. We give you the praise. We give you adoration. In Jesus' mighty name. We put our hands together for Jesus, for our families. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a beautiful day that the Lord has given us. Wonderful, wonderful day. As we continue pressing on this 18th day, 21 days of prayer, the month of January. There is no better way to get started in the year 2021 but by prayer and supplication. Something good about you praying, you and I praying, is that we don't have to worry about anything. He says that be anxious for nothing, but in prayer and supplication, let your request be known unto the Lord. And the peace of God that surpasses all man's understanding shall keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So one way to be worry-free in 2021, whether matters, families, or business, of children, or finances, is by prayer. If you can pray, then you cannot worry. Philippians 4 verse 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. 7. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. One of the things that really troubles people and makes them to be worryful is a, at the issues in the family. People are more troubled by issues at home than they are troubled over anything else. People get depressed more over issues of family matters than any other thing on the face of the earth. People commit suicide not because they did not have enough money. Many people commit suicide because of family wrangles. A man has an issue with a wife. And this man cannot bear the contention and the strife. And the chaos there. He goes and commits suicide. So to be worry free. Worry free in 2021. Then prayer is it. What are we praying? We are lifting our hearts to the Lord. Committing ourselves to the peace of God that surpasses all human understanding that your mind and your heart shall not be troubled over issues of your family 2021 you shall not be stressed to depression in 2021 because of issues of family that devil that even kills people before their time because of chaos and disharmony in the family 2021 the peace of God shall reign in your life. Please lift up your hands. Begin to declare that you receive the peace of God over every family matter. That you shall not be stressed. 
you shall not be worryful, you shall not be vexed, you shall not be depressed, because by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you will have answers for every issue of your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hora baseta bayada baya. Reto sante brezi bebredia. Yeda bashete telide belia. Reso babrande bredia. 2021. That we shall not be worryful. That we shall not be anxious of our matters of our family. Because you Lord you are giving us peace. And with the peace from above. You are giving us solutions over every area of our family life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, No depressions again in the family. No depressions again in our household. No depressions again to our children. To our spouses. We declare in the name of Jesus. That the peace of God that surpasses all man's understanding shall reign and flow like a river in the mighty name of Jesus. Resoto Bashekataya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Give him the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Every time God visits a family, like to bring salvation, deliverance, restoration, he may be keen with an individual, but ultimately, God's plan is for the entire family to be saved. All over the scripture we find and you shall be saved, you and your family, you and your household. God's intention for you and your family is salvation and deliverance. We are told there at chapter 16, and when she was baptized and her household, she sought. You see, every time, in the book of Acts, you see a person that was visited by God. It was her and her household. When Cornelius got saved, it was him and his entire household. When God visited people, it was that person and the entire household. Salvation belongs to us. In our household. What are we praying? Father in the name of Jesus. That all the members of my household. That is your immediate family. The extended family. Shall be saved this year. Shall be delivered this year. Some of them. They need to be delivered from alcoholism. From addictions. From wickedness. Oh Lord salvation has come to me. It must be extended to the entirety of my household. Lift up your hands and begin to pray for your household and the salvation of every of your family members. Both the immediate and the extended in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, lift up your hands. That is God's plan. That is God's will. That the salvation of the Lord shall be extended to the entirety of your family. Go ahead, lift up your hands. Your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your uncles, your fathers, your mothers, Oh yes, they must not die in sin. They must not live in bondage. They must not live in affliction. Father, our God, we call you on behalf of every member of our household. You have said that salvation belongs to us and our household. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rekata blessed the leader. Let the spark of salvation that has begun with us extend and spread and take over our household from this day in the mighty name of Jesus records the telebredia we prohibit right now that any of our family members should die sinners in the mighty name of Jesus we declare their salvation we declare their deliverance we declare their restoration 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We loose them from addictions. Uh. We loose them from cages of bondages. Uh. We loose them from the imprisonment. Reko uh. Satela Baganda. Every imprisonment of any of our family members. Uh. We loose them today by the blood of Jesus. Reko Santa Bayakota. Heria Bagenda Belosia. Heria Basheke Teleda. Heria Bagende Belusa. Reso Tabea Balusezo. We declare their freedom today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We see them coming to the knowledge of Christ. For it is in your will and your desire that all may be saved and come to the knowledge of Christ. We declare our family members, whether they are near or far, in this county, in this country beyond the boundaries of this country whatever bondage today we lose them declaring their salvation in the name of Jesus we call them to the knowledge of Christ in Jesus greatest mighty name let's put our hands together for the salvation of Christ in our families oh yes we see our brothers getting saved you can see them clap your hands and rejoice and shout to the Lord with a shout of victory. We can see salvation spreading all over our families in the name of Jesus. The Lord will touch them in the city. The Lord will deliver them in the up countries, in the reserve, in the villages. The Lord shall cause them to hear the gospel. The Lord will cause them to give their life to the Lord. We declare they shall not die sinners. We declare they shall not die bound. We declare they shall not live in cages and imprisonment. Freedom in the name of Jesus. We declare their freedom today. In Jesus. Greatest mighty name. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a shout of praise and victory. Hallelujah. We're going to intercede for our children. When it comes to your children, you make it passionate. You make it personal. You will intercede for your children, even those that are still in your bones. Before I got married, the Lord showed me that every believer should be able to intercede and engage God on, because of his unborn children. We are told that Abraham was even giving tithe, you know, giving tithe and declaring that is a tithe of my children. The children of Abraham gave tithe when they were still in his bones. It is in the scripture. That means we can pray for our children even when they are in our bones. How much more when they are not in our bones, they are already in our hands. How much more when they are already walking and moving about? How much more when they begin to go to, to school, in high school, in college? How much more when they are now making important decisions like getting married, what career to pursue? Then it is our responsibility. We declare and declare that our children are not going to be wasted. They are for signs and wonders. How many people believe that our children are for signs and wonders? They are not a wasted generation. Isaiah 8.18 They are for signs and wonders. They are not to be wasted. Behold, I and the children that the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders. They are a people of influence. They are not just idlers. They are a people that will touch their world. And move their world. They are not to be prostitutes. They are not to be smokers. They are not to be in drugs. Our children. Psalm 78 is 72 is a prayer. Psalm 78 is a prayer of David praying for his son. Before Solomon became the king, his father David made an intense prayer. No wonder when Solomon came on the stage, he did not have to start where his father started. It was a flight. He said, give ear, oh, 
Uh, let's go. You know, Psalm 72. is 72, please. 72. Give the king thy judgment, O God, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. That is the prayer of David. He shall judge thy people with righteousness and thy power with judgment. The mountain shall bring peace to the people and the hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor, the people of the people. He shall save the children from the needy and he shall break in pieces the oppressor. Can you just imagine that kind of a prayer? That your children will be breaking the bone, the backbone of the oppressors. Hallelujah. You can go read the whole of it. It's a prayer of David for Solomon. Say in the name of Jesus. Say louder. In the name of Jesus. Father, I commit my children, sons and daughters, in your able hands. And I declare today that my children are for signs and wonders. My children are for signs and wonders. My children shall possess the gates of the enemy. My children will possess the gates of my enemies. I declare none of my children shall be a waste. None of my children shall be a concern. None of my children shall be for trouble. None of my children shall be for sorrow. Anywhere my children are mentioned, there shall be joy. I declare and declare the destiny of my children is securely secure by the blood of Jesus. I preserve the destiny of my children by the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and clap your hands and begin to declare. Clap your hands as you're making that prayer. It's a prayer of engagement. It's a prayer of institution, uh, instituting and installing. Uh, it's a prayer of establishing. Uh, it's, a, it's a governmental prayer. It's a prayer of making things happen. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare our children. Uh, they are for signs and wonders. Uh, we declare our children uh, shall possess the gates of their enemies. Uh, we declare our children uh, they are sharp speedy arrows. Uh, Yes, from our next part, Archer, in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare our children uh, shall possess their possessions. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, we declare the blood of Jesus for the preservation of our children uh, now and in the future. In the mighty name of Jesus, Horabagande Baba Shakataya, Rekata Bagande Babayakaya. Reda bagenda baleda gadaya, rekosatela bagedo beluza, risoto taya bagenda. We pray for our children, uh, boys and girls alike. Uh, we declare their future is preserved. Uh, we declare the enemy has no power over them. Uh, we declare there is no weapon raised against them uh, that shall prosper now or in the future. In the mighty name of Jesus, hora bagende baba shakataya. Rizo daya, clap your hands as you're praying for your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, our children are not for alcohol. They are not into drugs addiction. They are not into immorality. They are not into prostitution. They are not into drug trafficking. They are not into robbery and stealing. Our children shall know the Lord. They shall serve the Lord. They shall serve the Lord. 
They shall live for the Lord we declare. We sanctify our children, our sons and daughters. Wherever they may be right now, some of them inside of our bones, some of them in our hands, some of them in schools and colleges. We preserve the destiny of our children today in the name of Jesus. They shall be a generation that knoweth the Lord. They shall be a generation that serveth the Lord. They shall be a generation that exalts and references God. No matter which country they may live, no matter how wicked generations of their time will be, our children shall be a godly remnant. They shall be a people peculiar in the mighty name of Jesus. Even when they are surrounded by atheists, our children will declare they shall not be wickedly be influenced in the mighty name of Jesus. Rakata bayakataya, rekete te 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 we speak words as early as now. Yes, to shape the destiny of our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, they shall not be a trouble to the nation. They shall not be a point of sorrows. They shall be the sons and daughters that make it the heart of fathers to rejoice. That make it the heart of their mothers to be glad. In the mighty name of Jesus, we secure the, the destinies of our children. Children today, in the name of Jesus, O Rabasheta Dadaya, Rekata Bayeda, we declare today that our children are for signs and wonders. They shall be the head and not the tail. They shall be the leaders of leaders. They shall be called the wise by the wise. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rekata Bayakata, with the cleaner of our children shall be mediocres. Reko Satela Bageda, Resete Lide Gedea, their destiny by God will surely come to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will surely become all. They were born to become. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, in Jesus' mighty name. Reho Janda Bayadakaya, Resete Te Bledidea, Riso Toto Branidea, Rite Libre di Dozila, Rete Libre di de Gedea, Reco Sante Bledio Zaya, Resete Libre di de Giza, Eshin de Dia, clap your hands one more time, pray for your sons, pray for your daughters, shape their destiny in their prayer now, in the prayer right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, they will be called the change agent of their time in the mighty name of Jesus they will give solutions to generations in the mighty name of Jesus they shall declare right now the words we are speaking right now they go ahead of our sons and daughters to shape their destinies, uh, to organize their future, to make their dreams come true, uh, with the will of God in their lives, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Give him the praise. Uh, give the Lord all the praise. Uh, give him all the praise for our children. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we fight for our children today. We fight for our children tonight. We fight for our children tonight. We fight for our children tonight. In Jesus' greatest mighty name. Put our hands together for Jesus. Psalms, keep it low. Psalms 128. Psalms 128. He says, verse from verse 1 from verse 1 please he says blessed is everyone that feareth the lord that walketh in his ways that is the ways of god for thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands happy shalt thou be and it shall be well with thee look at this now verse 3 psalms 128 now verse 3 thy wife 
shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Say amen. So that means even at age 40, your wife is still in your house. She has not left you. Even at age 50, she's still in your house. The family is still intact. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children, like olive plants, round about thy table. O Shakatabaya, at age 70, I see you and your wife, that is if Jesus tarries. Yes, at age 70, I see you around the table with your children and your grandchildren. Because he has said, round about thy table. Round about thy table. When I read this verse, I see like a family gathering. Maybe Christmas season. The family have come. Your wife is still with you, even at age 60. You go married at 25 years or 27 or 30. But at 70, your wife is still in the house. Your husband is still there. He has not been stolen by a strange woman. Your children have not disappeared somewhere, never to come again. Your children have not died. You have not buried them. They shall be your, and thy children shall be like olive plants. And your wife shall be like a fruitful vine. That shall be your portion. This is the portion of the people that fear God. Blessed family. Put the scripture there because we are going to use it. We are going to enact that word. Yes. Psalms 128 verse 3. We are going to use that particular verse. And declare all the husbands. Declare that your wife. And of course, all those wives, they are going to declare their husbands that my wife is a fruitful vine by the side of my house and that my children are like olive plants round about thy table. Those are the statements you are going to make. Psalms 128 verse 3. And that is what is going to happen. And it will begin to manifest from now. No more family breakdowns again. No more again experiences. Where the man is left alone, the woman is struggling alone with children somewhere, the children disconnected and never come back again. Some of them, they went to abroad and they disconnected, never to be found again. That evil is ended in the mighty name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare today before God Almighty and before the entire elements of the world, that my wife is a fruitful vine by the side of my house. That my children are like olive plants round about my table. Go ahead and make that declaration in the mighty name of Jesus. You can even clap your hands. It's a declaration. It's an enforcement. It's an enforcement. You are establishing. You are constituting. You are installing. You are making it happen. You are constructing. Yes, in the name of Jesus. It's a governmental kind of declaration. That my wife is as a fruitful vine by the side of my house. And that my children... They are fruitful olive plants round about my table. They are fruitful. Zida de Kataya. Reko Zakataya. Rekete Lebredia. Zida Daya. Rema Sheda Dea. Zida Daya. Reko Tadia. Zida Dea. Rekata Basheda Dea. We pray for our families. We pray for our household. Yedo Shande Dadea. Rida Dea. Parusa Ze. Palide Geza. Reda Dea. Sheda Daya. Rekata Bayeda Dadaya. Reko Zaya. Bande Baga. Rizota Bash. Shedada, Rekata Bayeda Dadia, Resete Lebredia, Rizo Sade, Jinde de Geda, Rete de Geda, Papaya de Dada, Radada Sotaya, Balige Gedoza, in the mighty name of Jesus, every power of divorce and family scattering, they have no power over our families now and in the future. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, give the Lord a mighty, 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 mighty hand of praise. Matthew 19, 
Matthew 19 verse 4. Matthew 19 from verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? Five. And said, For this cause shall a man leave, man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and the twins shall be one flesh. Hmm. Right, keep on moving. They say unto me, why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement and to put her away? He said unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, suffered you to put away your wives. So wherever you find wives being put away, it is as a result of hardness of the heart. It is a hardness of the heart. Wherever you find divorce happening is because of the hardiness of the heart. So one is so hard-hearted that he cannot say sorry where he was wrong. Hard-heartedness. One is so hard-hearted that he cannot come down and humble. One is so hard-hearted cannot submit. One is so hard-hearted you see? And then he said, but from the beginning, it was not so. So divorce was never in the agenda of God. It is because of the people's hardiness, the husband's hardiness, the wife's hardiness. Anywhere you find divorce anywhere. In spite of what has happened around, the hardness of the heart will destroy that marriage. So what are we declaring? That the spirit, family destroying forces, of hardiness of the heart have no control in our lives and even to the lives of our children. Because as we are moving on, generations are becoming less and less in terms of our valuing family. Say in the name of Jesus, spirit of family scattering and divorce has no power over my family. I stand today and resist and destroy the forces that spoil families. They have no influence over my own, over my children, over my siblings. Clap your hands and make that declaration one more time. Makata Bayadaka. It is an evil spirit that destroys families. Rekata Bagegadaka. Resete de the family destroying spirits they have no place in our families immediate extended our children we destroy them out those forces of evil, they have no power to influence our families. Yadokata Bayigadada, Reseta Libregiza Bradia, Rekata Bashete Lidia, Re Babashanda Dadada, Rekata Bagagadaga, Reda Babaya Bageda Balida, Reda Babaya Bagada, Reda Dadaya Dadaya Bagada, Tela Bashete Libredia. We declare in the name of Jesus the spirits that destroy families. They have no influence anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give the Lord a shout of praise if you believe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more prayer. We continue here. Go to Mark chapter 12. Verse 20, from verse 20, Mark chapter 12, from verse 20. And now there were seven, this is Jesus speaking here. He said, now there were seven brethren, and the first took a wife, and dying left no seed. That is to say, the firstborn among seven brothers married a woman, and the woman did not get a child. And she died. And the man died. Then keep on moving. 
He said, and the second took her. The same woman was taken by the second brother. And he too also died. Neither left in the seed. And the third one likewise. The fourth one, of course. The fifth one, of course. The seventh one. The sixth one, of course. And verse 22. And the seventh had her and left no seed. Last of all, the woman died also. Look at that family predicament. It is a family attack. That these seven brothers, there is a spirit that says, we don't want you to marry. They did not have a problem until the day they got married. They were okay as young men. Oh yes, they were okay. That's why they had lived all of them until they were adults. But when they began to marry, there was a force in the realm of the spirit that in this family, nobody gets married and lives. And not only so, nobody gets married and gets children. Do you know there are families like that in reality? And this was not a parable. It was a real situation. Jesus said it was a real situation. Force says that detest fruitfulness, that barrenness, is going to afflict the people. So the spirit of barrenness and the spirit of premature death. All the seven brothers died the same way. Marrying, no child, dying before their time. We are combining the three. The spirit, binding the spirit that prohibits marriage in families. The spirit that prohibits fruitfulness of the womb. And the spirit that ensures that the married die before their time. So the three in one. Please lift up your hands. Say, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare there is no evil spirit against fruitful marriage in my family. Both for me, for my children, my siblings, and the extended family. The spirit of no marriage, the spirit of barrenness, and the spirit of premature death. I bind you today in the mighty name of Jesus. You have no hold again. You have no control in my family. Clap your hands, declare the blood of Jesus. Now that is a warfare prayer. Clap your hands, shout and declare, and make it real. The kingdom suffered violence and the violent take it by force in the mighty name of Jesus. Evil powers that detest her. People getting married, a family getting married, the evil powers that detest her, that hold back people from getting children, the spirit of the enemy that kills families before their time. Today we rise against them. We bind them in the name of Jesus. We destroy them from the root out. We command them to dry up by the blood of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Scatter such spirit from our families, from our children, from our siblings, from our extended families. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rekata bayakata. Clap your hands, clap your hands. It's a very important prayer. Reko satede gedea. Rekata lida gadea. Rekata gada. Rakata gada. Institute order in that family. Establish order from this day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spirits that fight marriages in your family. Scatter by fire. Bashe kata dakata. Rekata gada gada. Rekata bayadoza. Yedo shadada dea. Rekata luda gada. We scatter them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost consumes such spirits. In the name of Jesus, we rescue our families uh, from the spirits that prohibit marriage, uh, from the spirits that bring about barrenness uh, and premature death. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Reco Sande Dadia, Rete Libre Diosa, Elote Shetelia, Dia Dabagada. People will stop dying like cockroaches in your family. They shall not be dying anyhow. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are declaring that long life is a portion of our families from this day. 
this year 2021 uh, we decree no griefs no graves uh, in our families uh, immediate and extended uh, we shall know bury the young uh, until we have lived all our life uh, and fulfilled our assignment uh, we have no business with premature dead uh, in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ahira Shada. Heria Bagande Bakaya. Henda Basheta Dagada. Henda Basheta Dagada. Henda Basheta Dagaya. Henda Bageda. Clap your hands, declare. Deal with that spirit, whether manifesting or intending to manifest. Deal with death before it can show up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Not anywhere in our children. Not anywhere in our siblings. Not anywhere anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus. Horabagande Bakaya. Reta Bayeda Gada, Reta Bayeda Gedaya, Resended here in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, we rescue our families, we deliver our families, we deliver our siblings, we deliver our families, we deliver them from the spirit of barrenness in the mighty name of Jesus. We deliver them from premature death, we deliver them from non marrying spirits in the name of Jesus. We lose them in the name of Jesus, we lose them in the spirit, Yamha, we lose them in the name of Jesus, we lose them in the name of Jesus, we lose them in the name of Jesus badagande bagade gade baloza retete behesia ene gande dade lo sedaya re shandadada we lose them in Jesus mighty greatest name give the lord a shout of praise oh hallelujah are we saying an amen to that somebody is hearing us maybe for the very first time and you're wondering what are these people saying this is our life prayer service on 97.1 fm ggv fm on facebook live and youtube and we are live here it is happening right now today our focus is on our family life and we are dealing with forces that trouble our families now you may be born again you have a good job you're all right you are saying oh as long as I'm born again, I don't care my brothers, they are drunkards, they are lost, they are the ones who don't like God. But the truth is, as long as they are not delivered, they are still a trouble to you. A simple example is this. If something wrong happens to any one of your brothers, as much as yourself, you are born again, you are okay, you are moving on with your life, your brother is uh, getting destroyed in the village, anything happening wrong, they must call you to the village. The moment he's arrested for misbehavior and crying and breaking of the law, seeing that you are the one that is organized in the family, you are the one to get him out. So you're not at peace. When he's threatening to kill your parents in the village, you don't sleep that night. You have to drive to the village, whatever time. So you don't say, as long as I'm born again, that's why we have to engage. I am sure that none of those people want to live the life they live. They are controlled by evil powers. And that's why there has to be somebody to pray to get them out. Now somebody is asking, why are you praying so violently? The kingdom surveilled violence and the violence taken by force. When Jesus was praying, we are told that, and he cried with a loud voice. And he was hard of them. Somebody's busy accusing us now. Why use the microphone? Why put it on radio? Jesus, when he prayed, he was not praying silent, religious, weekly prayer. Bible says, he cried with a loud voice. Sakata. And Jesus cried with a loud voice. Jesus was ever crying with a loud voice. And he was hard. Others people were hearing what he was saying. They were even hearing his prayer points. That's why we have it. That's why we have it. Even, we are even told the prayers that Jesus prayed. Like in John 17. Like John 17. Because this, this, the gospel 
is actually the history of Jesus as witnessed by the apostles, then his disciples. They even articulated his prayer points. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his voice to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. They heard him say that. The same way you are hearing us pray, we, cut, we scatter the devils. He was being hard. So religiosity tells people, ah, God knows your trouble. Just keep quiet and just wait for God. And then the devil takes stage. The devils of our time, if I may put it that way, they are not anywhere gentle. They have never been any kind, not even a minute. The devil has never contemplated doing, doing you good or letting you go. He is like a lion. He's not like a lamb. He's not even like a rabbit. He's like a lion. And he is moving to and fro. If he does not get you today, to and fro, he'll come back another time. To and fro, trying to get an opportune time. That's why we are this violent. We decree and declare that our families, our sons and daughters, our siblings, yes, immediate family and extended family, they are delivered from evil powers. They are delivered from evil influences. In the mighty name of Jesus. One more time, clap your hands and declare freedom of your family members. In the name of Jesus. Take it to the highest level you can. Take it to the highest level you can. In the mighty name of Jesus. Zidada. Rekete. Jadada. Rekata. Babaradea. Rekata. Ba. Rekata. Ba. You shall not spend another sleepless night uh, because of your brothers, because of your sisters, because of your mother, your father. How the devil has troubled them. Uh, we declare their salvation. We declare their deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Yande Bagada. Put your hands together for Jesus. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Give him the glory. Hallelujah. Oh, Shanda Bagada Bayada. Rekete Brezekete Lebria. Rekete Lebredia Zula Baya. Oh, Shande Babagande Baba. Ritete de Brezite Liada. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, listen to this one. This one is serious. If you are driving, pack. If you are listening by GGV and you are driving and you are listening to this prayer service, pack just for two minutes because we are about to make a very serious prayer now go to the book of Mark chapter 14 and verse verse 7 from verse 7 oh hallelujah thank you Jesus Mark 14 look at Acts sorry should be Acts the book of Acts the book of Acts 14 verse 7 Acts chapter 14 verse 7. And there they preached the gospel. Then 8. And there sat a certain man at Lystra. Impotent in his feet. Being a cripple from his mother's womb. Who never had walked. I read again. Pay attention now. And there sat a certain man at Lystra, at chapter 14, now verse 8. And there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who had never walked. The man was impotent, which made him to be crippled. He had never walked all his lifetime. He's a man, not a boy. The Jews culture, you are not a man until at least you are above 20 years. They will not call somebody 19 years a man. So this must be a man that was above 20 and above. Was at 20 and above. He was impotent. Crippled had never walked. Where did, did he get all those things? From his mother's womb. He collected impotency. That crippledness from his mother's womb. From his mother's womb. From, where did you get it? From, 
Where did you get corona from? He got it from the mother's womb. So can you just imagine you have a child has collected something evil from the mother's womb. I can even get deeper. The man has collected evil from his mother's womb. Not because the mother was aware. Not because the mother wanted it so. It is a spiritual manipulation, a system in the family. So that the wombs of the women in that family, they carry some evils. So that anybody that is born from that womb carries some crippledness. That even in future, he's not able to walk. Maybe it is not physical. Maybe the man is physically okay. But he has carried some impotency. Some crippledness. That even when he's 50, he's not able to walk. From his mother's womb. We are dealing with the evils of our mother's womb. Oshakatabayaka. Whatever you may have carried from your mother's womb. Remember, not because your mother was a bad person. It is a system in the family sometimes. There are families, not every woman. That's why when they looked at Jesus, they said, Blessed is the mother that gave birth to you. Blessed is the mother, is the woman that gave birth to you. Some things that follow people. This person is 35 years. He cannot feed his mouth. Leave alone, feed another person. He is still in his father's house. Bado ako katika ile keja ambao alijengewa na baba yake wakati wa kutahiri. We have those kind of people in the villages and everywhere else. People that completely become dependent. When they come to town, they are a trouble to everybody. They are crippled. They can never stand by themselves. They never succeed anywhere. They borrow everywhere. They must be housed. When you come to the village, most of the people when they come to the city from the village, they are housed. By brother, by uncle, by friend, by colleague. But if you must be housed, it should be only for a short time. After that, you should be able to stand on your feet. You are able to pay your house rent and feed yourself. But there are some, from their mother's womb, there is a, an impotency. They never become anything. By the time they are 50, they are still wondering where to sleep. Any form of crippledness that you or your siblings that you may be carrying we are declaring today Shadabayakata. we are getting disconnected because this man when he had the gospel look at what happened verse 9 look at verse 9 quickly please as we begin to close the same had Paul speak who steadfastly behold him and perceiving that now he had faith to be healed he said unto him verse 10 verse 10 with a loud voice stand upright on thy feet and he leaped and walked. The evil he had carried from his mother's womb was destroyed by the power of the gospel. It was gospel that delivered him. No matter how long you have carried it, say louder, in the name of Jesus. And, and you see, some of those evils, you may not be knowing them, yet they are, they are making it, things to go bad. Say, in the name of Jesus, in the evil from my mother's womb, I declare today, I am disconnected. Hey, look at this. Before we pray, because we are going to pray this very, 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 very powerfully. Do you know there are some people that have carried something from their mother's womb that they remain mother's boy? Even when they are beards. They are married but they are still behaving babyish. Even when they are married. They carry something from. They have never left the womb of their mother. The man is married. But he's behaving to his wife. Like a child. That's why some marriages break. Those are the kinds of people. That are completely irresponsible. In their mother's womb. They were being fed by the paracenta. Now he's 35. He's married. He's still being fed by the womb of the woman called the wife. He's the one who is clearing all the bills. Shakata. That evil must be ended in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. 
any evil that has followed me from my mother's womb, I disconnect by fire, by force. I disconnect my family from the evils of their mother's womb. I disconnect my siblings from the evils of my mother's womb. Now clap your hands and release fire as you disconnect and declare your freedom. Kata. Rekata bakataya. Rekata bayakataya. Rekata bagande bakataya. Rekata dada gataka gataka. Resetted here. We free ourselves by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, from any evils of our mother's womb, any crippleness, any impotence, any evil, any chaos, anything, any poverty, any failure that you may have carried from our mother's womb, we disconnect by fire, by force. Zikata, rakatabaka, rekadagada, 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 reclap your hands and declare. Setting free yourself, setting free your brethren, setting free your siblings, setting free your family members from that Koshaga Gadaka. Every form of impotency that will hold us back from becoming the people that you are born to become. Yeda Gadaka, any evil from our mother Zuma, we discontinue, we destroy her in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Harabagada, Herabagadaya, Heredegedia, Heredegedida, Heredegedega, Heredegedeka, Rakataba, Rekataya, Ridabaya, Retadada, Rekatada, Rekadada, Rekataga, Rekataga, Evos from my mother Zuma, Yeda Gadaka, Fakatabaka, Paradada Deda, Rete de Dedia, Rizo Sizaza, Rikete Deda, Rete de Geda, Rike de Geda, Scatarina. By fire, by force, scatter now, by fire, by force, scatter now, by fire, by force, scatter now, by fire, by force. Evils from our mother's womb ended right now, terminated right now, ended right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Rakata, Reketa, Hedegedegeda, Hedegededa, Hedegedia, Hedegededa, Ratambra, Herebra, Hediga, Herija, Hedidos, Herida, Herida. We rescue our sons, we rescue our brothers, we rescue our sisters, we rescue our people from the evils of our mother's womb. Oh, Yakata, evils from our mother's womb that made many irresponsible, that fought many that they should not realize their destinies. Rakatabaya, Redegeda, Retedegeda, 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 Retedegeda. Yes! In the name of Jesus, let them scatter by fire. Yes, in Jesus' name. Yes, in Jesus' name. That impotence is ended. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We see the victory right now. We see the freedom of our family members. We see the freedom of our family members. Oh, yes. And I hear in my spirit that some of these young men that have become so lost in drunkenness. Some of them, they carried an evil from their mother's womb. And that spirit has camouflaged and has come to them as drinking. You call it, that he just drinks. But that drinking has made him impotent. He has a bachelor's, but he cannot put food on his table. He has become a waste. He's a CPA, whatever care. He cannot pay for house rent. He cannot put children to school. He cannot even pay for nursery fee. He has become an important man. We declare and declare the evils from our mother's womb scattered by fire. Scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. Clap your hands one more time. Scatter them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. 
in the name of Jesus Rekatabayaka in the name of Jesus some of them they are 40 years they are not able to marry you ask them why all these years where have you been they cannot even tell what they have been doing 40 years the young man has never been married what is wrong with him he has never married he's just living a wasted life some of them they have carried evils from their mothers and i tell you not because their mother is evil it is just a spiritual family system that makes sure that boys in this family or girls in this family they are crippled they don't become something some of them they go all the way at the very verge of a breakthrough they must come down that must never be your portion again that must never be your narrative again we change that disorder in the name of jesus we overturn that ruling in jesus name thank you father give the lord a shout of praise give the lord a shout of praise we see glorious families we see beautiful families we see glorious households in jesus name I see salvation coming to our families. I see deliverance coming to our families. I see the hand of God getting manifested. Our children shall succeed. Beauty shall come into our homes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That spirit that says nobody will ever build a dignified home. You know, people have been working. They are many in number, but nobody has ever built something significant. They are still in those small, small houses. Some of them, they are raining when it rains. Houses, if they got a visitor, there is no place for the visitor to sleep. Some of them, during the Christmas and other times, people visit them during the day when it is evening. People go to look for houses where to sleep in the city. And there are families that are like that. It is an evil under the sun. He says that every house has a builder and God is a builder of all things. Including physical houses. Including physical houses. Whatsoever that has stopped anybody's family under the sound of my voice to build a dignified excellent house we scatter them by fire in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus now begin to declare in the name of jesus that you must build something whatsoever that have been holding back your family from building any significant dignified dwelling place Jikadaka Rekataga Rekadaga Rekadaga we scatter it out we scatter it in the name of Jesus 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 we scatter those forces that refuse families from building dignified houses we declare they have no power Rekadaba Rekadaga, 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 Retadada, Retadada, Redadada, Redadada, Redadada. From this year, that narrative is changing, that story is changing, that disorder is being removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, in Jesus' mighty name. That evil is broken in Jesus' mighty name. You know, Shaka Tabaya. Yes, 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 yes. Get it this way. Do you know why some families never succeed? They work very hard. They never do anything significant. By the time the man is 50, 60, he's still wondering where to live. Why? Sometimes there are voices in the soil. Sometimes there are negative voices in the soil. The place sometimes we call home, the soil has been so much contended, bloodshed, and other things, that those voices have been swallowed in the soil and they are speaking from the soil and sometimes 
you just buy a piece of land. You are innocent. You have just come from somewhere else. You have labored. You have worked. You have saved. You have your money. You go buy such a land. You don't know that before you bought that land, it was highly contended. There were family rangos and neighborhood rangos, sometimes to the point of shedding of blood. So those voices are buried there. You just buy a piece of land. Oh, I bought an acre land. I bought a half an acre. Now I want to build. The moment you begin to build, the voices begin to say revenge. I, the moment you begin to build, your money just gets finished. You just lose your job from nowhere. You are just sacked. Your business just comes down. Some strange sickness just crop up that will take all your money because you are paying every breath. Or some evil happens. Or some people even die. That's why some people have been grounded. So we are dealing with the voices in the ground. Whatever, maybe right now you're in town, but there is somewhere you call home where you all meet Christmas and other times. Maybe there are voices from the soil. Maybe there are voices. Some of them are as old as during the time of freedom fighting, Mau Mau times, or even beyond. Those voices are still there. That's why we dedicate the ground. When you buy a piece of land, don't just say, wow, you know I have money. I have, I have I borrowed money from the bank. I have five million. I will just start big building. It is more than money. It is more than just having stones. It is more than just having uh, ballast. They are spiritual forces. That's why we pour oil on that ground. By the grace of God, I have dedicated many lands for my sons and daughters. And we pour this oil, holy anointing oil on the ground, saying, that now I do not only possess this land physically and document. I possess physically, document, and even spiritually. Because many people have the document, this is my land. Yes, they have the land physically, this is my land. But spiritually, the land is not theirs. That's why the whoever that is claiming ownership is still Koshakata. Refusing them to go well there. Say in the name of Jesus, in a voice from the land of our family from the soil of our family any voice that is speaking evil over my life or my family right now i scatter those voices i destroy them from their source in the mighty name of jesus clap your hands one more time and pray and declare that is a moment that's a prayer of engagement governmental prayer you are instituting order you are declaring that those voices speaking from the family land Bashika Dakata negative voices negative voices we silence them and destroy them from their source in the mighty name of Jesus Zidaga Rekatabaya Rekatabaga Rekatagada voices from the village voices from the family land Rida Gata Rekadaga Rekedege Rida Didasa Baruja Zeya we silence such voices in the mighty name of Jesus Bakataya Retedeta Rekadaga Rekadega Rekadaga Rekadaga Radadia Paradada Ragadaga any evil voice speaking chaos speaking death speaking poverty speaking oppression from our family land anywhere those voices are we scatter them we destroy them in the name of jesus we take ownership we take occupancy in the physical and in the spiritual in the mighty name of jesus rakatabaya rekadagada 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 we speak the blood of jesus over those lands in the name of jesus Riabashada, rekatadaya yes in jesus mighty name yes in jesus mighty name thank you father thank you lord thank you lord we see our victory in jesus mighty name oh yes we see victory of our families in jesus mighty name from this day there shall be progress in your family there shall be progress in your immediate family there shall be progress in your extended family your siblings shall also do well in jesus mighty name your father and mother shall live and live long in jesus name 
our fathers and mothers shall not live in the hospital where we are draining all our money is uh, in the mighty name of Jesus 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 the spirit of cancer the spirit of diabetes the spirit of hypertension the spirit of arthritis uh, ye kataya, you have no place over our families uh, you have no place over our parents uh, in the mighty name of Jesus declare from this day especially for your parents uh, that cancer diabetes hypertension uh, shall no rule your family uh, in the mighty name of Jesus one more time uh, clap your hands and declare rakata baya rekete ketela rekata bayaka rekatela blada resata dadaya resha dada re dadada re dadada we declare that the spirit of cancer diabetes hypertension and other perennial diseases uh, Rito Seta, they have no place in our families. Uh, they shall not train us uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are declaring healing right now upon our parents, upon our people, upon our family members. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare healing right now. We send the healing virtue. Uh, we send the healing virtue uh, right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we send the healing virtues. Uh, we send the healing virtues. Uh, we send the healing virtues. Uh, we send the healing virtues are Reshada Bayadaka Reda Gada Gada Dada Yenda Dada 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 Yenda Dada 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 Reta La Bayada Baya In the mighty name of Jesus Oshanta Bayaka Resete Libre Dia Resete Libre Dia in Jesus mighty name thank you father we sanctify your family members uh, from sickness and disease cancer you have no place uh, cancer of any form uh, cancer of any form you have no place uh, you have no place diabetes uh, is ended right now the cycles of diseases uh, comes to an end today we raise another foundation we repair the broken places uh, we restore the old places uh, in the mighty name of Jesus we speak held uh, in our families uh, in the name of Jesus let the fathers be healed let the mothers be healed let the sisters be healed let the brothers be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Oh, says, we see victory. We see victory in Jesus' name. We see healing in Jesus' name. We see deliverance of our families. Uh. We see release 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 of our families. Uh. Yes, in the name of Jesus. We send the healing power right at home. Uh. Right in the village, right in the city, wherever they are, in Jesus' mighty greatest name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Please come closer now. Oh, thank you, Lord. We give you all. Just come closer, please. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Let's lift up our hands and give thanks to the Lord. Just give thanks. Just give thanks to the Lord. Thank you, Father. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Oh, we give you, we give you all. Answering our prayer this evening, and this entire team, we call prayer. We thank you and give you the praise. We thank you for our families. Thank you for redeeming our families. We give you honor. 2021, our families shall be peaceful. Thank you, Jesus. 
Amen. We may have our seats just for one minute. We conclude. Those that are joining us on radio, this is a live prayer service. We are dealing with things that matter. Every day we have an item. And today we are praying for our families. There has to be a person that God is going to use. Because he says, I look for a man, I found none. We are going to be those people that will be available for God to use. And if you are born again, you are the right person. Hallelujah. If you are born again, you are that right person. Every family has a Joseph. Please note that. Every family has a Joseph. Every family has a Joseph. No matter where they are. No matter what is happening around them. There is one person that is marked by God to be the savior of the family. He may not be the most learned. He may not be the most maniate. He may not even be the most liked. But when he falls on the grace of the Lord to be the Joseph of the family, that is it. He is the one. How do you know a Joseph of the family? The Joseph of the family gets to know the Lord early in life. Joseph knew the Lord early in life. He had come to a point of knowing the Lord until God was revealing secrets. While their brothers, every time they ate, they just went to sleep. And their dreams were just normal dreams. Just turning and turning. But Joseph had come to a place. The Lord had revealed himself to him in a way. So you know the Lord, maybe you are the first person in your family to know the Lord. To truly get saved. I'm not talking about to go to church. Because many people go to church but they are completely lost. I'm not talking about religiosity. I'm talking about truly knowing Jesus Christ as your savior. And being filled with the Holy Spirit. With the manifestation of speaking in tongues. And you are doing it without any apology. If you are that kind of a person. And you find yourself you are the first one. Then you are the Joseph of that family. You may be the youngest, but you could be the Joseph of your family. When the brothers of Joseph finally found him in Egypt, now they were very remorseful and very sorry because of the treatment they gave him many years ago. This is what Joseph had to say to them. Don't sorrow yourself. Why? Because you are not the one that sent me here. It is God that sent me here so that I can save your lives. Joseph in a family is always a savior of lives. God sent me here so that I can preserve your lives. Joseph in a family, he is the one that God uses. He's a human agent. Why God is going to deliver that family. I'm so sure and so certain that many of you under the influence of this voice right now, you are the Josephs of your family. You are the Josephs of your family. Can you say, I'm the Joseph of my family. No wonder you are prayed like this for your family. When others are seeing things like normal, if you want to know who is a Joseph of the family, the Joseph of the family understand spiritual situations of the family. He's the one who says, eh, na ikitu siya kawaida. Maybe they have money, they have names and all that. But who Joseph. a spiritual understanding. Who you Joseph of the family and financial situation, economic situation, and asema, hey, wapendwa, imaneno inatuandama hapa, inakaka kama siya kawaida. Who you Joseph of the family. Wengine wanasa, ah, ah, wea ujui corona ilikula pesa yote. Wea ujui politics ilichukua pesa yote. Ulimwengu yote yiko na mnai. Lakini yeye anajua ya kwamba kuna spiritual something. Those are the Josephs. So many of you under the sound of my voice, you are the Josephs of your family. Male and female alike. I declare that the Josephs of our families are going to arise. 2021. May the Josephs arise in Jesus mighty name. You will save your families in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Right now, if you are not born again, whatever you are, don't wait for another time. Don't wait for another service. I keep on saying, don't say, these people keep on asking us to get saved. When you hear it again, it is a mercy of God. Because it was possible for you to hear yesterday and not get saved and yet not be able to hear this. By this time, maybe you have died. But God is so gracious and so merciful. That's why he has caused you to hear again. This is a day of salvation. You can never overcome the powers of darkness by the energy of the flesh. Wherever you are right now, without minding who is with you, without consulting with anybody, you are not born again or you are backslidden or you are not sure about your salvation. If Jesus came today, you don't know what to tell him. You don't even know where to spend eternity. Please don't lose this moment. You believe in your heart, you confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. I want to lead you in that prayer of getting saved. Quickly, please. Wherever you are, God will see you. I may not be seeing you, but God is seeing you. On radio, on Facebook, on YouTube, whether now or later, say, Lord Jesus. Let's help them. Let's help them. We always speak so that we can help them. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Forgive me, Lord, and cleanse me from all my sin. I believe you died and rose again that I may be saved. Jesus, save me now. Thank you, Jesus. I receive your love and your mercy. And I confess, I am born again. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. There is no doubt you have made that short, simple prayer from whichever corner of the globe you are. You are now born again. If a minute before you made that prayer, you were drunkard, but now you have made that prayer. If Jesus came right now, you will still go with him. But you, of course, you will need a church where you can grow in the things of God and be nurtured spiritually. Please look for a church that, that you trust in terms of teaching and the Holy Ghost moving, and you'll be nurtured there. We would also want to encourage you in the first steps of faith. Please let us know. Let me know that you made that prayer. Use these numbers 0706 127 910. 0706 127 910. Airtel 0733 788 188. 0733 788. 188. You don't have to write many things. If you're John, you just need to say, I am John. Just got and saved. I'm an Imiokoka Sahi. And that is it. Then we shall call you, we shall pray with you, and to help you more. The Lord bless you. Let's appreciate. I believe that there are many that have made that prayer. Amen. Now, finally, we are going to seal our prayer with our giving. Giving is a type of wisdom. Don't be deceived anywhere. There are those forces that are telling people that giving in church is something wrong or whatever it is. Giving is God's way of positioning you to receive what he has already released. It is our expression of faith and our love for him. We are going to serve the Lord right now with our givings, with our tithes, those that are sons and daughters of this commission, with the offering. Everybody now can serve God with your offering. Wherever you are, whichever corner, of this globe or this country. We have the till number, the till number for buy goods and services. That is the MPSA service. The till number for buy goods and services, 837. You can use the MPSA service. The till number for buy goods and services is 837-898. That is 7898. The till number for buy goods and services, one more time, is 837-898. The till number is 3, that is 837-898. Somebody told me that we move very fast. That's why I am taking some time, Kidogo. The pay bill, for those who prefer the pay bill, 
especially those that are paying their tithe, the sons of this commission. The pay bill is 222118. 222118. That is 222118. The account is GGVHQ. The account is GGVHQ. You can do a hash and then specify your giving. Tithe, offering, charity, media. Media means you are partnering with us in our media ministry. Hallelujah. The rest of us that we are in the house, you can use other modes that are available, including uh, your envelope. That's very, very okay. Lift up your offering or your right hand. All of us, let's lift up our right hand. Whether you have an offering or not in your hand. Father, we thank you and glorify your name. We worship you with our giving today. I declare that your people are blessed. And I declare as we serve you with our substance this evening. We seal our prayer and we raise this as an offering. Declaring that our prayers are answered. This is our faith. We believe it is done. And that family finances and fortunes and investments shall flourish 2021 in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Remember that tomorrow is very, very special. Tomorrow we continue with our prayer and fasting all the way to Sunday. We are concluding on Sunday, the 21 days journey. We thank God for the grace. Tomorrow is very special because we have the morning service of prayer. That is from 6.30 to 7.45. Then in the afternoon, we have the prayer service again from 12.30 to 1.45. Then in the evening, which is very, very critical and very important, it will be a Holy Communion prayer service tomorrow, Friday. Make sure that you join us. Those that are able to come physically, the better. Those that must listen online and on radio, is still okay, but you'll be ready with the communion elements. Uh, that is from 4.30 to 6.30. It's going to be awesome. Then on Saturday, on Saturday, this week is loaded. On Saturday, we shall have two hours of what we are calling the prayer marathon. The prayer marathon that we are going to do here will be from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. You are welcome. You don't have to be a member of GGV. Come physically here. And then we shall be praying what I'm calling a prayer marathon because it will not be structured. We'll just give you a direction in the beginning. Then we shall pray continuous until the end. It's called prayer marathon. After that, you will become a prayer machine. Then... You know, the climax of everything, the 21 days, is this coming Sunday, the 24th. You don't want to miss this. We are calling it Prophetic Hosanna Sunday. That is a Sunday we are meeting here. Those that are sons and daughters and those that are friends and those that have been following, those that can travel from the neighboring counties, that is a day you make special because Sheikh Atabaya. Somebody bring me this, the, the prayer altar. Let me, let me just show that day we shall be celebrating with singing and dancing. I want us, we are going to combine all the equipment, the modern instruments of our music and whatever we used to call traditional. All those we shall be combining. We shall be dancing here. We shall be singing. It shall be prophetic. We shall be prophesying. We shall be receiving. We shall be praying for prayer items. Right here is what we are calling the prayer altar. In this prayer altar, there are prayer items. Like the ones I've just cooked. So you can write, those that are here, uh, you can write your prayer item and drop it here. Of course, those that are on Facebook and other countries like Germany and uh, Iraq and other places, USA, uh, you may not be able to bring it physically here. Uh, but you can communicate with us in the messages and all that and we shall be able to pray together with you. So that is going to be awesome on Sunday. We shall be lifting this prayer altar before God as we agree for all those prayer items that will be here. So you want to be here? First service is 9. And second service is 11. God bless you. Until we see you again, you are going to have great night and heavenly visions. God bless you. Amen.